Hey guys, it's Gene Jensen from BassResource.com. I'm real excited. I got a new camera. It's the, uh, the, the brand new GoPro Hero 2. And what that means for you guys is you'll be able to see more of my videos in full 1080p HD. Um, it, uh, it's going to take some getting used to. It doesn't have a viewfinder on the back, so I have no clue what it's looking at. So I'm, I'm playing around with distances and, and uh, trying to figure out what this fisheye lens is going to do. Because uh, And you can see it way over here. And you can see way over here. And, uh, and so I've just got to kind of get used to it. But, uh, but it's going to be fun. I'm going to get a, a second one next month as soon as I sell a few more things online. Uh, I've got some, uh, some tackle that I'm trying to get rid of. Uh, I decided I'm going to do something a little bit different today. I'm going to start a series that I am uh, kind of going to call my tip of the day. And uh, the reason uh, I'm doing this is that it's mid-January and I realize that a lot of you guys in the country have ice on the water, it's too cold to go out, things like that. Uh, it's great here in Georgia, it's not. So guess where I'm going this afternoon. But uh, so with these tips of the day, I'm going to kind of cover things that I do in the off season that uh, to get my equipment ready for the next season so it lasts. Your rods, your reels, things like that tend to get worn out. Uh, but the one I'm going to start with is one that I came up with about five years ago. It's one of those little things you do to, to uh, make your life a whole lot easier. But, uh, you know, I had that problem with my, my crap falling out, of the, falling out of the compartment. So what I did is I went to Walmart, went into the housewares department, and found some shelf liner that looks like this. And what it is is it's basically a net that is sprayed with some foam. And I brought it home and uh, I cut it out to fit the uh, inside of the lid of my Plano box. And um, oh, and also at Walmart I bought some spray adhesive. You take the spray adhesive and you spray the um, spray a, one side of the uh, the shelf liner and stick it inside of your box or your box lid. Let it dry. Put it back together and uh, keeps crap in the, set, in the right place. This is the shelf liner that I put on five years ago. It's still sitting in the right place. Everything stays there. Uh, even in the roughest water, I'm on my second 10 boat. I have a, a Triton aluminum with a 90 horse on it back uh, on the back now, so it, it goes quite a bit faster. Uh, it's <laughs> plenty rough, and I don't have a problem. So um, try this out. I promise you, you'll love it, and, uh, and you probably will never go back to anything else. But uh, like I always say, visit BassResource.com for all the answers to your questions about bass fishing. Uh, visit my YouTube channel. Check out my new channel design. I'm kind of excited about that. I'm, uh, I'm real proud of myself. I've never done anything with graphics design or anything like that. That's kind of never interested me until right now. So I went and I got um, a Photoshop um, uh, Premiere and uh, or whatever you call it, Photoshop Elements. I can't remember what it is. Anyway, and uh, and redesign my my channel and and I really have enjoyed doing it and I'm going to I'm going to keep updating it and doing cool things with it. But uh check it out, uh subscribe to my channel uh and uh, and and don't forget to like my videos. Take care and have a great day.